Happy year of the rabbit, everyone, from this random suburb on the edge of Hondo. I finally have been reunited with my red stallion. And I'm spending the few days leading up to Chinese New Year exploring some of the outskirts of the city. First, we're gonna spend some time in a town in the mountains to the north of Hangzhou. And then we're gonna head south for a bike tour through some suburbs, towns, and villages and see how the Chinese New Year preparations are coming along. 2022, Year of the Tiger, give way for 2023, Year of the Rabbit. I actually have a friend who was born in the year of the rabbit, so let's see how he feels about this exciting moment. In just a couple months, I'm planning to move to one of my employer's rural offices an hour away from Hangzhou. So just a few days before Chinese New Year, I spent some time there with my colleague and her family to get familiar with village life. Oh, the took a long time. Oh, <laughs> Aside from learning about village life and trying local cuisine, another task of this visit was to buy nian huo. Basically, it translates to stuff you buy for Chinese New Year. One, cute decorations, and two, boxes of gifts, mostly edible gifts. I'm getting some New Year's snacks for Aunt Uncle Zhao, and I'm not just going to get any average New Year's snack. I'm trying to get something that they have never eaten before and that they can't buy in Nanjing, so I found two types of nuts that are a local specialty and hopefully they like that. <laughs> You could actually buy these nuts and seeds and fruit and whatever at any time of year, but they would just come in a regular bag or jar and not in these adorable Chinese New Year boxes. At this time of year, all kinds of random stores are selling Chinese New Year thingies. It doesn't matter whether they were a fishing lure shop or a toy store or literally anything. So many random stores have put a whole selection of these outside. This place was originally like a toy store, a stationery store, something. I think it was called some of miscellaneous things store. And now it is a New Year's goods store. <laughs> Speaking of the New Year, one of my New Year's resolutions for 2023 is to learn more about the world. There is so much interesting knowledge out there just waiting for me to dig into it. But the problem is I have such a busy schedule that I can't get through all the books and podcasts that I want to. Thankfully though, I have Blinkist. Blinkist has condensed 15 minute versions of over 5,500 nonfiction books and podcasts. It's educational, entertaining, and full of great insights all at the same time. And you can listen to it throughout your daily routine, no matter how busy your day gets. 
Recently, I've been enjoying the science category, and today I'm listening to the Hunter-Gatherer's Guide to the 21st Century. It combines fascinating insights about humanity with pieces of knowledge from fields like human evolution, and it puts it all together to offer a really interesting lens through which to look at the world. It's a fact that no animal can develop eyes that are equally good at seeing in the daytime and at night. Thus, all animals, including humans, evolved to have eyes that were specialized for either light or darkness. With this adaptation came another issue, what to do during the period when your eyes couldn't see well. For early humans, as well as all other animals, it was not a good idea to be active during this relatively blind time because of the risk of falling prey to animals that could see. So instead of being productive, it made evolutionary sense to be dormant during this time so as to conserve vital energy. Blinkist isn't just for expanding your knowledge. It also offers titles that can inspire you, motivate you, improve your work ethic and creativity, and much more. Whatever you're interested in, there is something for you on Blinkist. There's also a new feature called Blinkist Connect, which allows you to share a premium account with a friend or family member and look for new inspirations together. Click the link in the description to start a seven day free trial and get 25% off of a premium membership, which also comes with an additional membership thanks to Blinkist Connect. Check it out if you guys are interested. And now, let's get back to Chinese New Year. This is Yeah. All over the country, everyone is putting out their decorations and getting ready to welcome the year of the rabbit. What better place to see this transformation underway than from the seat of a bike? It's now two days before Chinese New Year, so let's do some exploring. <laughs> Chinese New Year is just two days away, so shops are closed and the red lanterns are out. From teeny little ornaments to big behemoths to fancy light up spinny guys, these lanterns truly are everywhere. This is the most silent I've seen roads in China, like, ever. Where's the beeping? Where's the honking? I almost sort of miss it, but not quite. Hey, you're a You're Blind,才被运动 Anyway, aside from this guy, there really aren't very many people out on the street compared to a normal day. Most people are at home preparing for the holiday celebrations. For many families, that includes leaving offerings for their ancestors either in their courtyard or at the local temple. During the rest of the year, cities in China are quite densely populated. But during Chinese New Year, people leave in droves for their hometowns in rural China. Villages and small towns are where most people's family roots are, and these places are also where the most exciting and authentic Chinese New Year celebrations take place. In the next video, I'll be taking you guys with me on two days of Chinese New Year celebrations in rural China. And now it's time to head back to the city and pack for my train ride tomorrow morning. Also, don't forget to check out today's sponsor, Blinkist, to fit interesting and insightful new ideas into your daily routine. 
That's all for today's video, everyone. See you guys next time, and happy year of the rabbit.